five to go to perspective view. Let's very quickly set up a constraint, constraint for our camera. So click somewhere here. Go to yeah, that's about right. Go back to the top view by pressing seven. Spacebar at empty. Our empty is here. Deselect. Select the camera. Shift holding down the shift key, select the empty, control T, drag the constraint, deselect both, split our screen by pressing right click, right click on this line on top and confirm by, by left, drag the line, right viewport, press zero to go to the camera view and on the left viewport select the empty move it just in the middle of our sofa yeah that's great Press 7 again select the camera and G to grab and when you grab the camera you see alright stop let's zoom in the right viewport into, the, into our camera view left viewport uh, with the camera selected press G and just grab it and move and you see wherever you go your camera is always pointing to empty right so let's get a nice view empty selected Z to go to wireframe mode. It's not easy to find it now, but we'll manage somehow. Yep. And in the right viewport, you can move your empty and set up the camera view. 7 Z, go out of wireframe mode, select the camera, and just grab it and spin around. Nice view, very nice view. Alright. Uh, select the light, grab, move it in front, go to the front view, move it a little bit higher, seven, go to the top view, press add, lamp, hemi, as we have done a few times in our uh, previous sessions move it into the level of our lamp uh, with the hemi light selected go to go to shading buttons press the light icon uh, take down the energy to about yep yeah, right S uh, set up the light 959 nine seven nine seven nine four and now if you want to use press five to go to perspective if you want to use this sofa in your uh, presentations animations you probably need to do think as we have done in our first as a first part of our video tutorials when we are creating the cup cupboard uh, so you need to give the the units like child and parent relationship then you can get the effects like make it a, a bed sofa or something like slide this thing out then select this unit and this and slide it out again you know make it bad make it look like a bed uh, press ctrl z to step back, control Z to step back again. Uh, but f for to use it in a, just a still pictures, select by pressing A and just select all all part of it by holding down the shift and selecting uh, release the shift, rotate 
press the shift and select the last last part press ctrl J and join selected meshes and now our sofa is just one mesh so we can move it around the scene yeah and we can assign uh, the material to it so with the sofa selected go to material buttons add new uh, first of all take the in the shaders specularity down to zero completely add new go to texture icon select the stucky texture take noise size down to 0 0.04 that's great uh, go back to material buttons and select the color I would go for light uh, for a light brown enter that's not the light I say light enter yeah and to get rid of this famous purple go to map 2 select the purple and go for dark dark brown enter something like that yeah map to normals take normals to about one hold down the shift click and set it up to zero point nine five and <coughs> and it's time to press render button F12 sorry escape to, to delete we want to change our background color so go to world buttons press blend select this blue and change it to this one and now it's time to render a final picture by pressing F12 we want to create the same lighting and background conditions for all of our models and we can put them together later to be honest uh, I think this is a very easy simple and quick way to create a sofa and the final result it's mm, mm, yeah it's good <laughs> more than we would expect to get in this time we have spent just about 10 minutes to creating if without these comments and everything so I think yeah so far uh, again don't forget to go to the file save as uh, create appropriate name and save it to your library of blender models because later on we want to put all of our models together in order to make a animation of our virtual room uh, so far we have created cupboard with the doors uh, coffee table and this nice sofa so I really don't know what's gonna be next but let me, give me just give me time and I will figure out what we're gonna do as the next probably we can start uh, by with creating some entertainment unit modeling uh, plasma TV put it in on a on a wall uh, assigned uh, movie as a texture to our screen and uh, then we will be creating some interior decorations like interior accessories so lamps and everything it's uh, plenty of things we can do so I have not prepared anything I'm just working on it so yeah thank you very much for your attention I can't wait to be here next time all the best guys and keep on working hard with blenderic video tutorials all the best see you